we started off primarily as as a way to entertain ourselves. We were from a from a pretty quiet town. There wasn't much to do. It proved to be really successful, and we were lucky enough that the word spread. And I think we were kind of along with some other bands on the crest of a wave, kind of an electronic music wave, where we were very much kind of into harder kind of punk rock and stuff. But we wanted to do it with synths. I remember the the, uh, the first sort of serious piece of gear that I bought was a Boss DR55 drum machine and I thought yes you know we're here couldn't quite afford a TR808 at the time but but yeah you gotta start somewhere a lot of people for a lot of years I think were wanted Roland to get back into doing a lot of these groundbreaking products because there's so many of them you know the history of electronic music is is studied with with great Roland things. We've got some of the very vintage stuff and some of the very latest and they're all just working together side by side and they're just accessible, reasonably priced for everybody and I think it's just really cool and really exciting. I've actually for the last couple of years been working on my own animated shows. I've actually been doing the animation as well. I was having a discussion with some composer friends of mine and we were saying in order to compose the sort of music that we want to for picture we started to come to the conclusion that we may have to create the shows ourselves. So rather than spending, say, four to six months on an album, I decided to spend four to six months on one piece of music. So I'm still going on, on several different projects. When I came to LA, I spent a lot of time seeking knowledge because I'd come from a primarily electronic music background and the obvious thing to do here is to score for picture and I wanted to learn a little more about orchestration and composition so so I took myself back to the community colleges and was was really actually amazed at how great the teachers were and, and kind of thought that's a good thing to do with your knowledge and your experience at some point is, is pass it back uh, pass it on to people and uh, I'm teaching uh, sound design and synthesis at Point Blank Music School here in Los Angeles. You know, a lot of kids are pretty young, so some of them know who you are and some of them don't, and that's fine, you know, it's just, if they've got the motivation and the intuition to get themselves in a classroom to get better at what they do, I'm all for it, and, and most of the people you meet in that environment are just hungry for the knowledge, so they don't necessarily care who you are, but they love it when you show them something that teaches them something, so. That's what I'm experiencing more than anything, and it's great.